We have to design algorithms that allow the swarm robots to collect resources or the cubes into the center goal. That simulates what a basic, simplified Mars mission would be like. Is to program robots to work as a group autonomously. The problem that how robots should should be understood that where they are standing right now, on what part of the map, and uh, how they should find each other. The code is doesn't work. We need to debug the code. The the engines uh, give problems to robots going backwards suddenly. Um, <clears throat> you're like, what's going on? It's a simple concept, but yet it, it's been very challenging. Uh, right now, the rovers kind of just veer off to the right instead of going straight, and we're still in the process of trying to figure out what we can do to make them curve less and keep on a straight pattern. There isn't a lot of females in STEM fields, period. But that has never been an issue with me growing up. Um, it's just a topic and a field that I love, and I go after it with a passion. So I never really look at it as, oh, you're a female in STEM field. I, I don't even look at it like that. There's a gender gap now, but there won't always be. It was much worse before, and look how it's changing now. As long as they stay where they are, they keep working hard, there's going to come a time where there will be no problem at all for girls. There's nothing that says men are inherently smarter than women. It's just that society has allowed them more opportunity to pursue these intellectual fields. Everyone needs to grow together, so that's why I think women need to be um, uplifted, I guess. This has been great. Um, this has been the highlight of my year.